Hey everyone, it's Andrea, Miss Ladybug, and I want to share with you one of my favorite books growing up. It's called Sun Grumble by Claudia Fagosi. It's not in print anymore, so I had to read it to you for solstice. Here we go. I love the pictures, and it's so sweet. Sun Grumble. And there's little One day, the sun woke up crabby and mean. Murr. I'm tired of shining. I quit, he grumbled. Murr. So he played checkers with a star and cheated. Meanwhile, it was cold and dark on Earth. What will we do, said the people. What will we do, said the animals. What will we do, said the plants. But the sun didn't hear them. He was kicking meteors into the Little Dipper. Murr! What will we do, cried the people. What will we do, cried the animals. What will we do, cried the plants. But the sun didn't hear them. He was talking to a huge star. The sun was shining on many plants. The star is right here, shining on all these plants. And the sun said, what are you doing? need me and I'm helping them replied the star what are you doing being all helpful not all these plants. I'm not helping anyone hopped the star, sun and off he went sometimes I feel like that too the next day he decided to visit the earth he didn't want anyone to know who he was, so he went in disguise, and he wrapped his sunbeams in a cloud and sneaked down to Earth. It was cold and black, and there were no cats sleeping in his patches of sunlight, and there were no birds singing in his long sunbeams. Oh, where is the sun, cried the people. Where is the sun, moaned the animals. Where is the sun, moaned the plants. He's where he pleases, and he can do whatever he wants, snorted the sun. Murr. And then he looked at the earth. And it was so cold and black and dark. Harump, he grumbled. What a mess. So, and with that, he threw away his disguise and poked the clouds with his sunbeams until the earth was warm and bright. And sometimes we just wake up grumpy and sometimes we can just decide not to be. Happy solstice, everybody. It's okay to be a sun grumble.